Hello everyone, and welcome to the Brick Formula review of LEGO Set 21103, the DeLorean Time Machine. And it has 401 pieces, recommended for ages 10 and up. And obviously this is a Back to the Future set. And this is also the LEGO Kuso set number 4. And this set retails for $34.99. And here in the front, we see the DeLorean. And this is actually the picture that almost scared me away from this set because of the way they designed the hood. But I'll have more on that later. And here in the bottom left corner, we have a picture of Marty and Doc Brown, and I'll talk about them later as well. And here in the back, we can see that we can actually build three different versions of the DeLorean from all three Back to the Future movies, which is really cool. And then in the bottom, you'll notice that we have a close-up of all of the unique printed pieces that comes in the set. But anyway, I'll talk about this set in more detail coming up. And now to open this up for the first time, obviously we have the parts, and it looks like the bags are not numbered. Which is surprising because I know some people who have not built in ages and they're looking to get this set. So I guess it's going to take them a while to put this together because it has like 401 pieces. But anyway, here's the instruction book and it looks pretty good. It's got a different type of binding and it looks like we have some reading to do and that's always nice. And there's the instructions and more reading. Can't wait to go through that. And we have three loose parts too. Here are the minifigures. First up is Dr. Emmett Brown, and he comes with an all new unique torso printing, along with a new unique face and hairpiece too. In fact, I think if he came with glasses, he can probably pass off as Zane's inventor. Father, you're alive! And when it comes to the ninjoid Zane, you are not the father. So I guess that should be some relief. But anyway, here's the back printing, where we have a radioactivity sign. And he comes with an alternate face, where it's his great Scots expression. Up next is Marty McFly. And you know, he really does look like Michael J. Fox in minifig form. And he comes with an all new unique printing for the torso. And you know, when you look closer at the vest, it almost looks like it's part of a Spider-Man suit. Uh, no buddy, not even close. Okay then, I guess I'll take that back. But anyway, here's the view of the back, where it's also printed. And he also comes with an alternate face where I guess he really is chicken. And Marty also comes with a purple skateboard. Which is weird because it would have been better if they included a detailed pink hoverboard. Especially since I don't remember seeing this in the movie, although given the color choice, I think that Marty has a thing for the LEGO Friends color theme. And now to check out the DeLorean, and this is actually the version from the first movie, and you do get parts to build the other two versions of the DeLorean from the other two movies, but I'll cover them as we go along. So for now, let's take a close look at this thing. Now, I will admit that when I first saw this, I was a little disappointed at the way they designed the hood because they use these towel pieces there and it doesn't look that good, especially when you look at it from this angle there. It's like a little staircase there and I really think they should have used a slope piece, but then again, when you look at the original Kuso picture, they use a 6x8 slope, which is the one that's not so steep. And it actually wouldn't fit over here, it would actually go over and it would require a lot of modifications on your part just to make it fit. And plus, when you compare it to the real DeLorean, the slope is actually too steep. So in a way, this is actually not a bad solution. It just looks weird from this angle, see? But when you have this in person in front of you, it's actually not that bad. So once you get over that, you'll learn to appreciate most of the stuff that they put into this car, and especially the details. Okay, so here's the view of the side. I really love the tubing that they did here. It's a little bit fragile in the front there, but for the most part, the car is pretty sturdy. And here's the view of the back there. Okay, and there's a close look at the license plate. It says California at a time, and you do get another tile piece to swap that out there. And to change it, you just rip off the rear bumper plate, and it's a lot easier to do it that way. And just snap it back on. It's that simple. And here's the view of the other side. The wheels do move up and down. I'll have more on that later. And here's the view of the front, where it looks just okay. I guess it could have been a little bit better. I was never a huge fan of this type of design for windshields. I would have preferred a real windshield there, but I know a piece like that doesn't exist, so I guess this will be acceptable for now. The gold wing doors do open, although they are pretty fragile over here because they're only attached by one piece, but they open and close pretty well. And I'll show you the inside really soon. Now, if you notice, this part right here of the gold wing door is pretty thick, and it's because of that that you can only fit one minifig in there, plus being that there's not a whole lot of space inside. But it can be done, all right? And the way I would do it is to take out the slope piece over here. So you just simply remove this tile, and then you just get a crowbar and just swap that out. And let me show you what it looks like after it's modified. And here is Marty and Doc sitting together in the DeLorean. So let's take a closer look. 
Now, opening the door like this and putting Marty through here is actually quite difficult. I actually recommend just ripping the roof off and just do it that way. And take your time with it. And after a few frustrating minutes, you'll get it done. So here's what it looks like. And as you can see, he has a hard time sitting upright. And when I close the door, if you look carefully, it actually just touches his hair right there. So that's why you can't really have him sitting too close to the door, aside from the fact that the slope piece is in the way. So for Doc Brown, I removed the slope piece and just have his arm facing up. And you also want Doc Brown to move up a little bit. This way, his head won't get in the way of this part right here. And it works just fine. See, not too bad. The door's gonna stick out a little bit just because of his arm, but I think you'll live with that. And plus, if you're worried about the gap that used to be there where the slow piece is, you do get a lot of extra parts. So you can always fill up with the one by one plate there, or maybe one of the round pieces, up to you. Lots of choices there. But that's how you wanna do it if you wanna get both characters in there. And this is not in the instruction book, this is just simply my solution if you wanna get them both in there without too much work. And there we are. And with that said, I guess we'll move on to the next version of the DeLorean, and here we go. And now we have the DeLorean from the second movie, where it looks like it's flying. And to give it the flying effect, you do get these transparent pieces to put on the bottom there, and it allows you to keep the DeLorean up and have the wheels facing downward, so it looks like it's flying. Now the thing about the wheels is that that's as far as they go. They don't exactly go a full 90 degrees. You can if you push it down hard enough, and there we are. But when you do that, you'll notice that the peg kind of slips out a little bit. So when you put it back in the regular position, you'll just have to snap them back in, see? But otherwise, it works pretty well. Okay, so there we go. And the other noticeable difference that they added is Mr. Fusion. My car could certainly use one of those. Throwing in garbage there for energy, not a bad idea. The only thing weird about it is that, if you look carefully, it sits on top of the yellow stud over there. I think it would actually make more sense to remove the yellow stud and just have Mr. Fusion sit on the black round plate over there. But it's up to you. It's not really clear in the instruction book, but that's the impression that I got. And you'll also notice back here we have the new license plate, which is the 2015 California license plate there, which looks like a barcode. So pretty cool. And those are all the changes for the second version of the DeLorean. And now we'll move on to the third. And all you're really doing is changing the wheels to red, and then you're gonna take this towel piece off the hood to add in this detailed little board there. And now the DeLorean looks so much better because now you don't have to worry about the staircase looking hood over there. And here's what it looks like from the front. We can't really see Marty anymore from this angle, but that's okay. The DeLorean looks so much better. And here's the view of the side. There's the back again. And yes, we do retain that license plate in the third movie. And there's the other side. Really cool. And here's the top view. And here's a close look at the board there. And I guess the only thing left to do now is take a look at the inside of the car. And here's what the inside of the car looks like. It's really not much, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like. And I'll show you the printed pieces in more detail really soon. So as you can see, there's only eight studs to attach the mini figs. I'm not really fond of the seats there, but there's the flux capacitor. And I really like the dashboard though, that looks really cool. And now we can move on to the recommendations. Overall, this is a really good set and a must-have for just about any LEGO fan and collector. Starting to value, we have a price per piece ratio of 8.7 cents per piece, and we're getting about $35 to $45 worth of parts here, not including the mini figs or the printed parts. Doc Brown and Marty McFly are worth around $18 each, and the unique printed pieces, such as the license plates and the flux capacitor and the dashboard, they each go for around $7 to $9 each, so clearly this is a really good value since this retails for $35. And speaking of printed pieces, here's a close-up of all of the unique printed pieces that came with the set. So we have the two license plates that you saw earlier, and then we have the dashboard where it says January 28th, 1958 for the destination time. That's actually not in the movie. I think LEGO has some fun with that because that's actually the date when they filed for the patent for the modern LEGO brick that we know today. And I guess they had a little bit too much fun when we went to do the capacitor drive because when you look at it, it says disconnect capacitor drive before opening, shield eyes from light. And he spelled the word shield wrong. So a little too much fun there. Or either that or hooked on phonics did not work for somebody over there. And when it comes to play value, I say it's fair. The way the minifigs are so detailed is always a huge plus. And when it comes to the DeLorean, I like the fact that they made it so that you can actually build all three different versions from the movies. So that's another huge plus right there. You have the little skateboard as an accessory, and the only drawback is that the vehicle is 10 studs wide. 
I can understand why it's wide, so that it allows for all the details in there, but if you want to add the train wheels, you can. It just won't fit on the railroad tracks, so good luck with that. Okay, so that's not happening anytime soon. Otherwise, I think it's a really neat set. Definitely a collector's item and a must-have for any LEGO fan out there. And it looks pretty good on the shelf. And that's it. That sums up my review. Hope you guys enjoyed the show, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And this set retails for $34.99. And clearly, on the front here, we don't really have the money shot of the DeLorean. And no, Zane, this is not your father. Although, with that hair piece, you can probably make your own now. Actually, I should probably put a Mori joke in here.